Here are a few handy tips and tricks for using a trackpad that help me save a ton of time when working with a MacBook. The trackpad is a wonderful thing. You can do a lot of stuff if you know the trackpad gestures off the top of your head and if you tune it properly. So I'll also share a few settings along the way to help you master the magic trackpad. The very first thing that I do when I log into a new Mac is head straight into the system preferences, then go to trackpad and crank the tracking speed way up. The sensitivity that comes by default is just too slow and it takes a couple of swipes with the finger to just get my mouse cursor from one end of the screen to the other. You see, Apple has put a lot of thought and work into configuring their trackpad and setting it to maximum speed doesn't mean that you will find it hard to click on something because of a thing called mouse acceleration. When you move your finger faster across the trackpad, the mouse will also move faster. And when you try to do something precise, like clicking on the X to shut down the window, you will naturally move your finger slower and so the trackpad will automatically lower the sensitivity. So setting it to the maximum basically means that it will not affect how precise it is up close, rather just how far you can move your cursor with one swipe of the finger across the trackpad. While I'm still here in the trackpad settings, I like to enable tap to click. This means that every time I want to click something, I don't have to press hard on the trackpad. I can just lightly tap it and it will register a click. Don't worry, selecting this option will not mean that pressing harder won't work anymore. It just now lets you choose your preferred way of clicking. Here you can also select how firm you want the click to be. I prefer mine set to light, but that's just personal preference. And that brings me to trackpad gestures. All of these settings here are probably what makes the Apple trackpad so good. If you've never used the gestures, you're missing out. The first one that I immediately change is the swipe between full screen apps. I think swiping with three fingers is just more comfortable and since I use the full screen apps all the time, I want swiping between them to be as easy as possible. I set mission control to three fingers and this allows me to quickly see all the apps that I have open on a particular desktop and easily switch between them if I'm not using them in full screen mode. But I leave the app expose off because it pretty much does the same thing as mission control but only worse and everything else is on the default. Utilizing the trackpad gestures is what makes my experience using a MacBook so much better. Swiping between virtual desktops with three fingers or going back on a web page with the two finger gesture rather than clicking the black arrow every time is what makes all the difference. Think about it. If you didn't know how to right click on a Mac by pressing the trackpad with two fingers, every time you would have to do it by holding down the command key on your keyboard and then clicking your trackpad. And that just makes it so uncomfortable and takes up much more time. So learning the trackpad will greatly improve the quality of life when working with a MacBook. But the trackpad isn't everything. To learn 10 more tips and tricks for your MacBook, consider watching this video.